Welcome to part four of our summer series. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Also, make sure to stick around for last week's Flathead Valley Market Report. Now let's jump in and see what's happening in the Flathead Valley this week. As always, be sure to check out GoRangeRiders.com for the Glacier Range Riders home schedule. If you haven't already, be sure to get your tickets to the hottest event of the summer. Under the Big Sky Music Festival, we'll showcase the very best in Americana, folk, alt country, and rock across two beautiful stages in the heart of one of America's most unspoiled and pristine regions of natural wilderness. The festival pairs cutting edge emerging voices and talents with musical icons, creating a unique showcase for the diverse strains of American music today. Located at Big Mountain Ranch on July 14th, 15th, 16th. If music isn't your preferred type of art, then check out Arts in the Park. This is the Flathead Valley's longest running premier arts and crafts event, which is held in Kalispell's historic downtown Depot Park. Stroll through the booths offering one-of-a-kind quality handmade paintings, jewelry, ceramics, housewares, and more. Relax on the lawn and enjoy some delicious food and beverages from local providers. This family-friendly event is fun for all ages. Our featured outdoor activity this week is camping. The Flathead Valley is a popular destination for camping with numerous campgrounds and campsites throughout the area. Whether you prefer primitive backcountry camping or a more comfortable camping experience with modern amenities, there are plenty of options to choose from in the Flathead Valley. I strongly recommend that you check out Glacier National Park as a solid camping option. However, you're gonna wanna reserve these spots one year in advance. So for all those who didn't plan ahead, here are a few other options. Flathead Lake State Park offers several campgrounds around the lake, including West Shore Campground, Big Arm Campground, and Finley Point Campground. These campgrounds offer a variety of amenities, including boat ramps, picnic areas, and hiking trails. A popular destination for camping is Whitefish Lake State Park, which is a beautiful campground located on the shores of Whitefish Lake. The campground features 25 campsites, as well as picnic areas and a boat launch. And finally, the Swan Lake Recreation Area is great for camping, with several campsites located around the lake. The campground features 39 campsites, as well as picnic areas and a boat launch. Overall, Flathead Valley offers a variety of camping options for all levels of campers with unlimited locations. Keep exploring and you are sure to find a camping spot that suits your interests in this beautiful area. All right, that's it for part four of the summer series. Be sure to tune in next week for more summer events and outdoor fun. Now let's get into last week's market report. Thank you, Holly. Howdy y'all. And welcome to the weekly Flathead Valley Real Estate Market Recap. I'm Ryan Norris, and as you may have guessed, it's my birthday week. So please send all your gifts and cards to our Keller Williams office in Kalispell. If you happen to see me this weekend at Under the Big Sky, please remember that I'm a double XL, and my favorite drink rhymes with beer. Okay, enough about me. Let's take a look at last week's numbers. First up, Kalispell. Last week, Kalispell saw 20 new listings hit the market. 11 homes closed with a median sale price of 567,000. Those additional 20 new listings added last week bring the total count of active listings in Kalispell to 218. The median list price in Kalispell is 839,000. Currently, Kalispell has 94 homes under contract and an absorption rate of 4.36 months. Moving on to Big Fork. Big Fork added six new homes to their inventory. There was only one home that sold with a median sale price of 860,000. As of today, Big Fork has a total of 83 active listings and a current median list price of 1.45 million. There are currently 16 single family residences under contract, and as of today, Big Fork's absorption rate is 6.9 months. Now we head north to Columbia Falls. Sales are still slow in the Gateway to Glacier as only two new listings came to market and only one single family residence sold. Last week, the median sale price in Columbia Falls was $755,000. As of today, Columbia Falls has a total of 40 active listings with a median list price of $1.18 million. There are 19 homes under contract and an absorption rate of 2.6 months. Last stop, Whitefish. Last week, the fish added four new listings with two single-family residences selling. The median sale price of these two homes sold was $800,000. Whitefish finished the week with 97 active listings, Currently, the median list price in Whitefish is 1.92 million. 
There are 23 homes under contract and Whitefish currently has an absorption rate of eight months. That concludes this week's market recap. And without further ado, here are some words from Dave Christensen with Mountain Lake Mortgage. How about buying an investment or rental property? Surely I need a lot of money and high income to get into real estate investing, right? Not necessarily. Last week, we talked about how it might be easier than you think to buy a home for yourself. The same holds true for real estate investing. Purchasing real estate to hold for investment and or rental income does require higher down payment amounts, anywhere from 15 to 25% minimum, depending on the property type. However, the really cool thing about purchasing a rental property is that you can use the rental income to offset some or all of the mortgage payment. So the amount of income needed in some cases is minimal. In fact, if your primary housing expense is minimal, or you are living with friends or family, you don't have a primary housing expense, you may be able to qualify to purchase a rental property with very minimal income. We're always happy to be a resource to help you build a real estate portfolio, so please feel free to reach out to us for help with planning, creative ideas, and pre-qualifying. This week, mortgage interest rates continue to creep up a bit. Current 30-year fixed rates are about 7% depending on individual factors such as credit, down payment, and other variables. So Flathead, that's a wrap. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a little thumbs up. Perhaps share it with a friend. Somewhere on your screen, there is likely a button that allows you to even subscribe so that you never miss any of our videos. Still confused on how to do any of this? Reach out to one of your grandkids for tech support, or just leave us a comment below. We'll make sure to get you sorted. I'm Ryan Norris from Keller Williams Realty, Northwest Montana in Hidden Homes, Montana. Thank you so much for joining us, and I look forward to doing some boot scooting with you all this weekend at this year's Under the Big Sky Music and Arts Festival. I hope you all are having an awesome summer thus far, and it's been filled with sunshine, loved ones, and a million laughs. Bye for now.